Okay, so I'm I'm in here at the uh, farm here, the 10 acre farm, and I gotta get out here and take care of these bees. And welcome back to YouTube, to my channel here at Russian River Bees. And I'm gonna do a small inspection here, so I gotta get ready. So I gotta get ready here. And look at these bees because it's raining as you know it rained today uh, and I have to go and check these bees here and make sure they're okay and they're well fed and they're okay so I want you guys to come out or well, if you have time come on and join me here while I look at this one hive where one day there'll be many hives here so let's get suited up and let's get started Okay, we're here at the location at this 10 acre farm. Now, what I gotta do is I have to check these bees and make sure they're healthy, they're alive, and they're thriving. And we're in November. It's the beginning of winter in California. Now, this is the inner cover. I don't have one, so I'm gonna put one in today. Uh, and I'll demonstrate it with you. And you'll see how I do it, how I check these bees and make sure they're ready for winter in the rain. But it's not raining right now, but it was raining. And you have to come out in the rain no matter what. That's what I do as a beginner commercial beekeeper. So let's get started right here. So we're gonna go ahead and give it a try here and see how our babies are doing. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I'm gonna get ready. Let's go. All right, let's see here. All right, here, here. And by the way, Foxhound Bee Company, good gloves. I like them. They work really good, especially with bees, and they're made for it. They're extra thick. Look at this. Extra thick layers. Foxhound Bee Company. I don't get sponsored by them, but you know, I'm just going to tell you the truth like I told you. They work good. Let's go. No, I forgot to put my light on. I'm going to have to restart this again, but that's okay. You guys can watch me. I'm going to have to put this headlight, these headlights on because they really help you look at the frames. I don't want to look at them too much because it's winter time. I don't want to roll my queen. Oh, they're already visiting me. Let's get this on here, right? hope I can do this. This is sometimes it's very difficult to do this because it has to fit on really good with your glasses and your light. Oh boy, sometimes it's a real task. But I do it, you know. I try to get good at this. I'm trying to get good at this. I'm trying to get good at this. Looks good. Do I look good? I hope I look good. All right, let's put the other part. You know, be, being a beginner commercial beekeeper, it really takes a lot of effort. Because you gotta do things like this. You gotta think of stuff out the box. You know, you're on your own. Your mentor can't be there all the time, so you're gonna have to figure it out. 
Looks good, huh? I think I look good. All right. <laughs> okay. You know, I don't think you need to smoke the bees during the winter time, but some people do. I don't. Unless they get real aggressive. This is their bee pollen, Patty. I'm going to give them some of this. Really sticky, gooey. They love it. It's, you know, it's sedible. I mean, you can eat it too, but I wouldn't. <laughs> so we're going to give them some patties. And they are bringing in some uh, pollen right now. I just noticed that. And I'll show you. Look at this. We got ants crawling in here. There's a little gap here. You know, this is what ants do. But if the hive is strong enough, if the hive is strong enough, it'll deal with the ants. But if the hive is not strong enough, as you know, the ants take over. Look for the queen is you don't want to roll her now because it's the winter time. If you roll her now, it's all over. When they get a little aggressive, I advise you to get out their way. I get ants that like to dance. I give something to dance with. That'll stop them. If you can go on the side, you're better off. If you get on, if you hover on top of them, they might start attacking. If you notice, I put sugar because I didn't have this cover. But now I do. So let's look inside. 
and see what we can see. Look at that. You know how big they are? No bad wings, no deficiencies. They look really fat to me. This time I give you a close up because a lot of the videos I didn't do, they didn't give you really a close up and we need to get close ups. Let's put this over here and get to look at. Look at those reserves for the winter. Now they could eat all this up, you know, but they are growing, I think quite good. Look at all the honey they've brought in. Now some of this is the sugar that I gave them, gave them, because it's a light color, but they are going out. Not too much, you don't want to smoke them and cook them. I think we looked enough on the top. Let's look on the bottom. A lot of honey stores on the top here.
Can you hear them roaring? They don't like being disturbed, especially right now. It's time to reserve their honey and protect their hives and get ready for the winter challenge for them. The queen's laying her eggs. I don't know if you can see it. It's hard to see it. Ah, next time I get some lights. But look at the pollen they're bringing in. So some bees are bringing in pollen, which is good. They're growing and that's one. It's gotta be real easy with them because they have a queen in here. If you roll the queen, like I said, it's over. I don't have another one, so I gotta be really careful with these babies because it's winter time and anything go wrong it's my fault so you gotta, gotta be easy so they got brood they're laying the queen's laying everything looks good here Look at that brood pattern, huh? Look at that. I'm gonna feed them. You know, they have a lack of resources in California right now, as you know, the drought, so. But they're bringing in pollen, they're, they're trying to survive, and I think they're doing okay. Let me leave them alone. There's plenty more, but I don't wanna bother them, because like I said, he rolled the queen, it's over. Let's go real gently. Easy on these puppies, on these beautiful girls. And let's put this back. But you gotta be careful when you bring them down. Cause you bring it down the queen, oh God. You never have it. I gotta be trying to sting me, right? Getting a little aggressive now.
Okay, so that is it for today. I'm gonna, I gotta take these gloves off and take the jacket off and all that good stuff. So what do you think? Just showing you one hive that I will hopefully split next year. And make, maybe I can make two, three, it depends how many queens I have available. And they're still here. <laughs> I got a beast still following me. <laughs> I got one bee, I gotta move. I got a guard bee that just follows. Sometimes they follow you like really far. So, oh, it's over here again. It just won't leave. I gotta go the further out. Well, while I'm taking you through here, this is where the bees are gonna be. You know, plenty of bees, hopefully. Or when this place gets more organized. But even then, I'll still put them here because it's a great place. It's a wonderful place. Savannah's got a great location. Oh wow, I keep bumping, sorry. Maybe the guard bee won't follow me. Okay, a little further out. Okay, I don't have the guard bee around me. Well, that's a close one, because they'll sting you right in your eye or your lip. You know, you do all that work and then they get you. So you gotta be careful with aggressive bees. They get aggressive now doing, the, well, the beginning of the winter, wouldn't you, if you had things of honey and, you know, pollen stored and, you know, everything's tight and warm and then I show up and, you know, we have to look inside the hive. And it doesn't always work out too well, but you got to do it. So, I have to pretty much keep on these bees. You got to stay on them because... They do what they want. Of course, some shades, my eyes are hurting a little bit. Sometimes my eyes are a little sensitive to light. So there you go. 10 acre farm, ready to be developed. In time, they'll have fruits. There'll be water systems here. All kind of good stuff going here. And the bees will be here way before that happens. As you know, we have one hive now. 
and this is where I'm at. The beginner commercial beekeeper starting out his career in beekeeping. We got plenty more to go. Oh, we have a journey you wouldn't believe. It's gonna go on and on. So it's almost like a, a small movie, but it's not because I'm not a movie maker. So it's gonna be a great story. Some are gonna be short, some are long. I'm working on my skills, but I really enjoy you guys watching because one watches, maybe the other will watch. I love what I do. I like commercial beekeeping. I think it's a great field to be in. If you can afford to, and if you have the muscle power, you can do it. If you're a commercial beekeeper, man, try your best. It's not easy. And the ones that have been doing it a long time, well, they mastered it. They mastered it. I'm still learning. That's why you come to my channel, because I'm a beginner commercial beekeeper. So thanks for watching, and see you next time here in Northern California. They just don't stop chasing. I gotta get out of here before these beasts attack. One by one. See you later.